guys welcome to a day of my life today is gonna be so chill but at the same time like i'm gonna get my stuff done so that's why it's gonna be nice and productive guys i literally just got a package in the mail i think it's from imethic beauty they sent me a package i think they sent me one of their new products i wanted to open i wanted to open it on camera okay wow thank you imethic beauty for sending me these i think i might do like a review on tiktok i actually have my <laughs> tripod set up here so i think i'm going to set that up and try these out these are cool this is the color 06 not sure if this is my color or not but we're still gonna try it wow so yeah i'm definitely gonna unbox this and review it on tiktok so guys make sure you check this review out on tiktok i can't wait to do this so i'm in the middle of recording the tiktok but guys look how many stencils i got sent and then it has a dual brow brush and a sponge brow brush and then some brow pomade i'm literally so excited to try this but i have to go through all these stencils and see which brow shape i'm gonna use so i'm almost finished with the tiktok this is how the eyebrows turned out i feel like this one comes out a little bit longer than this one but i don't really know how to fix that <laughs> This is usually what my floor looks like after I finish filming any type of makeup TikTok. But I actually am like super satisfied with how the eyebrows turned out with this product. It was actually like really cool. I've never tried out like an eyebrow anything that's actually worked on me. Okay, so I'm about to get started on school. I'm actually going to do my to-do list first. I actually haven't created my to-do list for the day when I usually would have done it like a long time ago, but I got really excited about getting that package and getting to do my eyebrows. Anyway, let's get started with my to-do list for today, and then I'm gonna get started on school. I forgot to tell you guys, it's also Valentine's Day, the day I'm filming this, you guys are seeing this like way after. But look, my dad got me flowers, how nice. So I gotta find a vase to put them in, and I'm gonna put them in my room. And I also got this to learn. So yeah, and then I might like make a snack. <laughs> This is the Kimu's Liquid Cheek Blush. Well, I've been trying to talk myself out of giving it for a while, but it, it's over. I'm not gonna test it out right now since I already did my makeup, but I do wanna test it out on my hand, and then I might do like a review or something on TikTok, and probably film that like tomorrow. But I've seen a ton of people use this and say it's good as the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush, so we're gonna try it. I got the shade 06 Mystery. This is a little bigger than I was expecting it to be. Like I said, I'm gonna try it on my hand. It's supposed to be really pigmented. I'm just gonna blend it in with a beauty blender. It's it is really pink. I don't know if you can tell. I'm gonna turn off the light because I think that's making it worse. But yeah, you can't tell it all on camera. But I think I think that will look pretty good on me. It's around the shade of the cream blush that I have from Elf. That'll hopefully look really natural. But look out for a review on TikTok for this because I will probably film that tomorrow. The next thing I got was a hair growth oil, and it's the Miel hair growth oil. Now, if you are on beauty and hair talk, you've definitely seen this. 
everyone's been talking about it people are getting upset because they tried to gatekeep it and couldn't which i'm a huge fan of gatekeeping like i'm sorry if something's really working for me but if you post it the people sell it out and that's exactly what they did with this one but i i got it pretty easily off amazon everyone was saying it sold out but I, I found it pretty easily it only took like four days to get here it wasn't prime though but when people first started posting about this hair growth oil i was like what because guys i literally ordered this mio product i remember being in the hair store and being like i've never heard of this brand like it's a little sketchy but i'm gonna get this anyway and then as soon as i got it they started showing up on my for you page and then everybody was like this hair growth oil is growing my hair like crazy fast and then the controversy videos started coming out and they changed the management and they were selling out and it was crazy but this is a it's a, a okay product like it's not like anything crazy but this is the curl defining mousse by mio but i got this a while ago it was crazy because i remember looking in the store i was like i've never heard of this brand <laughs> but now they're viral on tiktok so i'll definitely be trying this hair growth oil and that's what i got from amazon i'm super excited to try both of these though but now i'm gonna do my nails because my nails have been needing a little care i actually haven't like done anything to my nails in like weeks this is what they look like i'm not gonna paint them or anything i'm just gonna put on some nail hardener cuticle oil and just shape them a little bit because they're just very oddly shaped right now but these are my nails i literally still can't believe i stopped biting them we're gonna do some nail care because it's really really important for me extra schoolwork but now i'm getting ready for a dance class i actually don't have to leave for like another hour but i always just wait till the last minute to get ready for my dance class so i'm just gonna do it now also i'm about to make like a lemon vitamin water like you guys know those little vitamin waters i'm gonna use the tropical citrus flavor because that goes best with this and then just cut up some lemon slices and put it inside and then i just freeze it before i go to dance but tonight i have a jazz class and a modern class that should be cool anyway that's the hair i'm gonna go make that drink now and then i'm gonna grab my bag and pack it so when i leave i want to do anything i know i know that you're drunk yeah. tell me what you want after this club welcome to the second day of this vlog i really want to get a productive start to my morning so i'm going to start cleaning my room and it's not that messy it's just like last night i was just going through and organizing some of my things which i did not vlog i'm sorry but it kind of made my room a little messy so i want to clean some of that up and then i do need to film a tiktok reviewing the kimu's blush like i said i said that yesterday when i opened it and i'm really excited to try that so i'm gonna probably do my makeup and then test it out on tiktok <laughs> because i just finished filming the tiktok and it real went really well as you can see the blush looks really good but now i'm gonna tell you guys a little bit of the plan for today i actually don't know most i put way too much up there i actually don't know much of what i'm doing i know i need to drop off some books at the library i actually put them into this bag so i don't forget 
but I need to drop off some books to the library. I don't think I'm gonna like stay at the library or pick out any other books because I don't think I have time for that today. But when I do that, I'm not really sure what comes after that. I know my dad said we're supposed to be doing something. I don't even know exactly what we're doing to be honest. But I do know like we're gonna be outside and I want to make some TikToks. So I'm about to learn some TikToks, but I'm not gonna film them. I'm just gonna learn them. So when I get out in public, I will already know them. But this is the makeup. I'm gonna give you guys a little fit check. My earrings and necklace are from Bad Flash Jewels. And then this shirt is from Aeropostale. Pants are from H&M and I'm using these Air Force Ones. So I'm just gonna add my Apple Watch and that is the look for today. Now I'm about to head out and drop these books off in the library and then do who knows what. <laughs> Bagel Dash and this is my first time being here. Very popular spot in Ghent, section of Norfolk. You got a Reuben, I'm not sure what that is. I got a bagel, and I'll show you that when it comes out. But we also got hollow bread pudding, and we're gonna try it. I've never even heard of hollow bread. One, two, three. It tastes like ice cream. I'm going bang it. This is good. Yeah, it's quite delicious. And it's quite a bit, so this is enough for two people. Very aesthetic spot. All the paintings on the wall and the decorations and everything. That's what the frosting stuff looks like. What a camera at. Frosting stuff tastes, makes it taste just like ice cream. I got a Sprite. In a glass. In a glass, which makes it taste good. Mm-hmm. I got uh, Natalie's orange juice. It's fresh squeeze. It says one ingredient. Orange juice, is it? Also, I'm going to mix that with Izzy. Sparkling clementine. We're waiting for our food, so so I, I went ahead and just rolled the dice on a Reuben. <laughs> what oh, is a Reuben? A Reuben is a corned beef, or or or, or, or I don't know. Man. It looks good. Ooh, what's the stuff that looks like sauerkraut? It is sauerkraut. Oh. Sauerkraut and corned beef and Swiss cheese and we're gonna see. We're gonna see exactly what we're dealing with. The Yours is super good. I got bacon and cheddar cheese and hash brown on mine. I've never had sauerkraut. So <laughs> <laughs> ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. One, two, three. That's fire right there. <laughs> How's your first impression of sauerkraut? It's like mustard. But overall, it's good. I'd give it like a seven, seven, not ten. I give this an eight and a half. It's very, it's seasoned very well. The bagel is nice and firm, which holds the sandwich together. All the flavors blend very nicely. Eating the leftovers from the bagel, 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 what? Bagel place. Oh my gosh, that place was so good. I I've never been to a bagel place ever, and I love bagels because I always make them at home, and it was just so bomb. Very nice first impression. Anyway, we went go karting. It was crazy. Oh my gosh, I was quite frightened. But once I got on the track, it was like less frightening. And then I hit the side of the wall, 
twice and then got stuck it was just like so bad <laughs> but it was really not as bad i was making it out to be in my head though so after like the first couple laps i was good but yeah there were so many turns and stuff i felt like i wasn't able to like get enough speed because when you go around the corner you have to slow down or you're gonna run into something so i just felt like that was whack like if it was a straight track i would have done so well but anyway that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing for the day i'm probably just gonna start editing and reading a little bit so that's probably the end of this vlog so i'm gonna go ahead and say thank you guys for watching this video if you made it to this point and are literally watching it right now comment this emoji and if you want to see more of me check my social media in the description and if you want to see more videos like this consider subscribing thank you guys for watching bye